Hello and uh, welcome to Eternal Reckoning, the demo. It is by, um, uh, don't butcher this, Matan Bronstein. I, I don't know. Anyway, nine centuries ago, the balance of the world was shattered. Yeah, I wasn't expecting this. I kind of like of a like cool animated thing. Oh, fell before that thing of horror. Oh, wow, that escalated very quickly. It's a little bit on the... I definitely wasn't expecting such graphic stuff. The necromancer I had struck for the first time. Only to vanish without a trace. It had brought death to nearly all who had ever lived and all who had ever died. But this time... They didn't come back. Wah, wah. Only now, its disciples are appearing. Find them in that thing they call a leader. Kill them. It is the only way. Okay. That's a pretty cool intro. It's basically a story of revenge. Um, let's see if there's some more options here to change some audio indeed there is let's change that a little bit as it's like you know, excessively uh loud it does look like we can use a controller so there we go shooting targets with arrows can open up doors okay uh, that is not the arrow shot. Um, what's what's happened? Apparently, uh, using my controller stopped working. All right, we can shoot. All right, I have shut the door. Jump over platforms to progress. Easy enough. Nice intro uh, tutorial thus far. Elves, elves have the power to gain the abilities of other creatures. Press B to slash and right trigger to collect button. Uh, I've taken the blood, I think. I, I don't know. Some bears were a great force to pass through. Yeah, I just cut through that with my slashy slash. This is like a weird um kind of... Uh, Uh, I, I don't know, like, I, I feel it's like, um, uh, I don't know, I feel like I've been launched back into the late 90s, uh, true warriors do not flee from battle, well, true warriors probably had a sword, you know, I appear to be almost dead, uh, I wonder if there's anything I can do to... Uh, heal myself. I, I'm not really sure why the whole screen shakes. That's kind of like an odd... an odd experience. Locked without a keyhole. Coffin dance. I like that I changed the music to be a little bit less loud, and it's still, like, obnoxiously loud. Consumed by a rampant elephant after eating an unhealthy amount of peanut butter in his travels around the world, there's room for his kindness to meet around him in his peanut butter addiction. Oh. I have just, uh, regained my health. Happy times. What do we have here? A stained and bloodied form that seems as if it has been separated from Sona for some time now. Huh, oh, used to belong to an elf, huh? Yeah, take that, cow. What happens if we go left and we go back right? Will it, um... Ah, it doesn't give us our blood back. Ah! 
Yeah, so the blood taking um, mechanic of the game, I'm not really quite sure I understand how that's working. And the screen shaking is really weird. Um, outside of that though, like, I mean, it's, it's pretty decent combat. Uh, the AI for the enemy is, yeah, it's not really too present. Um, Another arm. Okay. We'll just leave these wacky looking sheep to do their business. Is this a snake or a skeleton? Oh, oh, oh. Unexpected. Right, not really sure how we're gonna figure this one out. Um. Okay. To all but the strongest, death is no lasting harm. Those with the true power burn short and bright. Oh, hooray! We're back to the relatively close um, area to where we were. We'll just go back. Um. Yeah, I don't know how this is going to go with uh, this boss again. I will say that I do think a lot of this is pretty cool. Like, I... You know, a lot of people probably would be like, Wow, this game doesn't look nice. And you know what? Honestly, it's 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 not exactly the most beautiful of games out there. But I think this art style, it reminds me, like I said, of like the late 90s. Um, like, when everybody was... Um, Making games for the good old DOS, you know? I, I, I miss those simpler times. Alright. See if I can figure out how to dodge these attacks. Yeah. Easy enough. But I don't really actually know how to do any damage to it. Uh, so I'm not really sure. Um, yeah, because there's not like a way to avoid those. Are you angry now? The eat a cookie? Not really sure what happened there. I'm really not sure how to avoid those attacks, to be honest. I do not believe I can actually jump high enough to go over it. Um, yeah. I'll try one more time. Actually, I'm not going to try one more time. Uh, so this whole thing with the screen shaking thing, honestly, I... I really don't like that. It just, I don't know, it's just kind of messing with my head. Um, it's like too much screen shake. It could be because I'm like sick right now and like I, I already just like don't feel amazing. Um, but I can't deal with the screen shaking. Oh, you know what? I've already gone this far. I guess. I guess we're gonna, I guess we're going. We're gonna try it one more time. Um, but yeah, the screen shaking is. Hopefully that doesn't stay. Um, I do like this boss battle. Like, I'm, I'm a little... Whoopsies. Um, well, this has gotten poorly. Alright, so it looks like we can jump kind of over there. So. I will say, even though I have lowered the volume for the sound, it doesn't seem to matter. Like, it's still very, very loud. And it's too loud, to be honest. Uh, probably because of, like, the tone of, you know, the bagpipes or whatever it is. I guess I can't concentrate at the same time and, and try to do this. Uh, well, anyway, so I'm going to go ahead and end it here. There is a demo that you can try, which the link is in the description if you'd like to try it. I, I think it's worth a shot. Um, it definitely has some things about it that I think are rather charming and enjoyable. 
the combat is overall okay. That screen shake is just awful. Um, you know, graphically, it's really satisfying to me. I think it looks nice. Uh, the story seems relatively interesting as well. I really liked the cutscenes. The way the cutscenes went were really nice. And this sheep looks like uh, the most amazing sheep in the world. Um, well, none of them have taken that long to get here. I'm just going to try one more time. I do also like the boss battle. I think the boss battle is really nice. The uh, attacks are rather telegraphed in a way that's pretty easy to kind of figure out what you're supposed to do. I think it's a little hard to figure out like how much damage I'm doing. Uh, I don't like that there's like this gap right here that you can fall off. Oh, I made it further. Well, I guess I'll go till I die or something. There's a new spot, you know? What is, what is even happening here? This guy is, like, dead but alive? Are you the prophesied one? Well, I can't say I enjoy, enjoyed waiting and rather not leave the way I came. Regardless, show me that you really are all you're cracked up to be. And be sure to find out this blasted floating island. No for all blasted inhabitants. Can't waste to turn into your this guy looks, or, you know, the end of the left looks like a Starion from um, Baldur's Gate. Uh, I can't, like, actually choose something? I don't know. I don't have a key, so I don't think I can get downstairs, so I'm not even going to bother with that one. It looks like an up upside-down ice cream cone. What? What just hit me? How far are we going back? Okay, not too far, thankfully. The only thing that I think I would really... have a complaint about for the game is um oh, this guy looks cool I, I definitely wanted to get to this little spot uh, but the only thing I would probably really complain about is ooh, that's so cool um another L farm but the only thing I would really complain about is uh the sound um even with you know adjusting the sound to make it a little bit lower music wise during certain scenes, it just appears to get really crazy loud. Um, which I think is a bit too much. Three warriors do not flee from battle. Alright, well, I want to flee from battle. Yeah, look at me fleeing from battle. I guess I can't. killed because I've I've made a lot of bad choices. That's yeah, fine. Just go back and do it again. I will say that, you know, even though like I was at the point of wanting to give up because of the um the whole screen shake issue, um it is a really difficult game to want to put down because it is, you know, despite like the you know that little issue in the sound, um overall like it's it's pretty cool, like, I mean, and especially those cutscenes are really nice. Uh, I really like the cutscenes. This definitely needs, like, some kind of actual dash. 
they're gonna help with combat. Um, one more time. One more. One more time. Like I mean, I, I would say this doesn't really count as a good dash. Like you could probably consider it a dash, but it's not really a dash. I'm also not sure where the blood comes from. I'm definitely going to die. I wonder how many times, like, I, I need to, like, hit this dude. I'm gonna do it one more time. I'm trying to figure out this, like, pattern. I thought he had the pattern, but I don't. Um... So, and I don't know, like, how much longer there is to this demo. Um, I think it's a fairly lengthy demo. Like, I don't know about lengthy, but I would say that the amount of, of stuff you get out of here um, feels pretty nice. Um, And everything still stands for what I said earlier about, like, the boss battles. They are well designed as far as, like, being able to telegraph the attacks. Um... It's not, like, the easiest to figure out, but I think, you know, for the most part, I, I have it figured out. I found a key. Oh, this is going to be the thing we have to go back to the house, probably. Good job, Mr. Elf. I like it. I like the background. All these giant worm monsters. Apparently we're on Arrakis. We're totally not on Arrakis, but it's kind of a cool thing to reference Dune, because I like Dune, it's like one of my favorite movies. Uh, don't mind me, bull. Let's skip you guys. A squirrel! Can I kill it? Oh, I cannot kill the squirrel. It's unfortunate. Everybody knows squirrels are uh, in league with uh, terrible monsters. Okay. Am I supposed to, like... Oh, that's interesting. Because it definitely doesn't look like you would do that. Um... Boxes can push around or hit with an arrow. Boxes get stuck on each other on a wall. I would not have guessed that was a box. Alright, uh, what a way to do this. I mean, it's certainly a thing that is done, but I, I, I feel like there could have been a better way to do that. Uh, maybe, like, shoot it once. Oh, what? Those are spikes at the top? Oh, I guess they are. Oh, well, what am I... S 
supposed to do here? Oh, you know what? I'm supposed to probably bash that in. What happens if it falls on me? Nothing. Oh, it's good news. Puzzles uh, tossed into our adventure. So I will say that honestly, this demo is entirely worth it just for uh, the... Just for those little cutscene animations alone. Uh, they're just really cool, uh, and they definitely bring back this, you know, feeling of, like I said, like I keep saying the late 90s. Um, I don't know if how many people remember, like, the Allegro game library that was used for a lot of games that were made in DOS uh, back then. But it was just, um, it was really cool. I think I'm going to get killed again. Yeah. yeah Alright. I'll try one more time. And then I, then I am going to go ahead and call it. Um, I do like this. I, I like this demo. I just have a bunch of other things to do today. Uh, so I don't want to spend any more time doing this. But it's, it's a definitely really cool game. Like, it has uh, some stuff that I think could probably be improved over time. But for the most part, it's a fun game to play. Like, I definitely recommend it. Uh, try the demo at the very least. If you like the demo, you can always wishlist the game. If you're not sure, you know, yeah, you, you can't really go wrong with the demo. Dude, how long is this going to take to kill this dude? Maybe we get like upgrades or something in the game later on, I don't know. But this dude is a scarecrow that shoots nuts out of his chest, which... Eh, doesn't really seem like an enemy that should take this long to kill. I would say this is probably the only boss level that I'm not a fan of so far. Um, I don't know if it's the nuts flying out of his chest to kind of get in the way of things, or just... The uh -huh, little elf, you may have defeated me through my puzzles and even in combat. But this isn't the, the, this isn't the end fool. Haha, <laughs> I still have one track up my, uh, sleeve. Well, anyhow, you could never have possibly expected my dastardly plan. Haha, <laughs> you see, I have buttons that appear out of literally nowhere. Haha. <laughs> Thank you. You have done well, friend. I'm just going to ask you to come to do one more thing for me. Destroy the acorn. You heard me fool. Destroy it in the names of the dead gods. Break the damn thing. What if you eat it instead? I see it does not allow you. Uh, I should really do it myself. Blah, 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 blah. Uh, Thank you for playing the Eternal Reckoning demo. Well, look, I actually finished it. I didn't think I was going to finish it. I thought for sure I was not going to. Uh, if you do finish the demo, it just kind of closes on its own. Um, I liked it. I had a good time with it. It's a little frustrating with some stuff, but overall, very good experience. Links in the description. Thanks for watching.